Hello, true believers! There's a comic book by the name of I Hate Fairyland, or by a better title that I liked for the first issue, which happened to just be a variant cover called Fuck Fairyland, which I prefer that title much more. I already talked about issue number one. Let's go into issue number two. Previously, a little girl by the name of Gertrude got sucked into a world called Fairyland, where it seemed as though she just had to go on a quest to find her way out to go back to the real world. 27 years later, she is still in Fairyland. Her body is not aged at all. Her mind mind, however, has gone to complete insanity because she can't find her way out of this topsy-turvy land. The ruler of Fairyland is Queen Claudia, who at first seems as though she's a very nice, sweet ruler, but on the other hand, she's also really, really pissed off at Gertrude for all of the things she's done because Gertrude is such an insane lunatic, she's pretty much killing everyone in her path. She sent an assassin out to kill her, but it turns out that Gertrude ends up killing him instead. So in this issue, Gertrude is carrying around the head of the guy that was sent after to kill her previously. She goes through Fairyland even more. She kills a bunch of giants. But the big point in this story is that Queen Claudia turns to another type of assassin, a witch. And even though this is a very happy-go-lucky land, the witch is evil. And she goes to some pretty dark means to try to get Gertrude to be taken down. I swear what looked like Earthworm Jim showed up briefly in one of the panels in this issue. Kind of funny, in the previous issue, she kills the narrator, which happens to be the moon. She also kills the stars because they were witnesses. This one, she also kills kills the narrator, which happens to be a little mouse. Another thing to point out, she has a small fly as a guide. His name is Larrington Winsworth III. At first, he seemed very positive. Now, after being with her for such a long period of time, he's very sarcastic and negative, and he hates life altogether. This is a very fun series to read. Literally anything could happen in it. Gertrude is in a place where everything is all fantastical, everything is all magical, and anything could possibly happen. But what's really great about this is that it seems like everything is very happy, but in reality, things are very dark and very gruesome, especially for a little girl who's aged on the inside but not on the outside. So it's a huge contradiction of what you would be expecting in a story like this, which is probably why I like it so much. The story and art is done by Scotty Young. Definitely got to give this guy props because he is really on the ball with this one. Check it out when you get a chance. It's an image comic book title. If you can't find it in a comic book store, you can always order it online. Anyways, thanks for watching this review. I'll join you in another one very soon. Peace.